In this video, we are going to investigate uh, how passwords are stored on uh, Linux systems. Okay, um, to do this, uh, let's open up a uh, terminal window on the uh, Kali Linux VM. And I am going to show you the two files uh, which are related to password on Linux systems. They are the slash etc password and the slash etc shadow files. All right. So these are the two files uh, that uh, relates to uh, user passwords on the Linux systems. And uh, as you can see, um, the etc password file uh, is uh, read, write, read and writable by the uh, owner. Right, read, write without execute. Okay, it is uh, readable by the group and also readable by uh, others. This is the, 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 what the, the permissions that is applicable to others. Whereas the etc shadow file uh, is only uh, read writable by root, uh, it is readable by the group called um, shadow. Right, and uh, for others, for all others, there's no permissions at all on the etc shadow files. Now we are going to investigate what happens when we add a user to the system. Okay, so to do that, we're going to use the user add command. And uh, because I'm a normal user, okay, so if you look at my ID, okay, my user ID is 1000. I'm not the root user, so I will not be able to execute the uh, user add command successfully. So to add the um, user to the system, I first need to become root. So I'm going to do a sudo bash. Okay, so I'm start. I'm gonna enter in my password, and uh, I will have a, a a a super user access on the shell on the shell. Okay, so now I am the super user. Okay, indicated by my user ID of zero on this system, and uh, in this case, I will be actually able to add a user to the system. I'm gonna do a user add. Okay, and dash m. Okay dash uh, u sorry dash d slash home uh, slash home user one and I'm gonna create this user called user one okay so I have created successfully um, the the user called uh, user one and I, I created a home directory for I mean I specified the home directory for this user one to be slash home slash user one and uh, I specify to say that if the uh, directory doesn't exist, uh, I'm going to make the directory. So again, if you are not sure how to use the user add command, you can do a user add dash dash help. All right. So you are going to see that dash m is to create the home directory. Okay. And uh, if you scroll a bit further up, you can see that uh, dash d means I'm specifying the home directory of the new account. Again, uh, let's look at the two files in question. And uh, so, as you can see, the timestamp has changed for these two files. All right, it used to be uh, last modified on the 27th of January. Okay, and uh, when I uh, add the user, okay, when I just add the user, the uh, timestamp has changed. Okay, so why is this so? Let's take a look at the entries of uh, user1 in slash etc password. Okay, so you see that uh, whenever I created a new user, the system has to add the, um, the user information into the password file. This is the username. The first field is the username, right? And uh, followed by the password. And X indicate that we're use, using a shadow file uh, for the to store the passwords. Okay, user ID, uh, group ID, and uh, this is the home directory and the shell and the login shell. Right, and let's take a look at the etc shadow file. Right, uh, we are going to look for the user, user1 in slash etc shadow. And you can see that an entry is also created in uh, slash etc shadow for this user. Okay, uh, again, you have the user1, all right, followed by some of the other fields which I'm not going to go into the details right now. But uh, this field is of interest. No? The second field is actually uh, representing the hash password of the user. In this case, it's an exclamation mark, which means that uh, the user cannot log in at the moment. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give user1 a password. Okay, so password, sorry, password user1. Okay, then I can enter in the password. So as a root user, I can change anybody's password. Okay, 
So when I type in password user one, uh, it's gonna prompt me for the password that I want to set for the user. And in this case, maybe I would say password, super secure password called password S S W O R D. And you can see that um, it says that the password is updated successfully. So now let's take a look at uh, the entry for user one in the shadow file again. Okay, so you can see that the uh, field from the exclamation mark it becomes a string of uh, characters oh, like this. This is actually the hash form of the uh, user password which I have set. Okay, so basically, uh, whenever a user is added uh, to the system, an entry is created in slash etc password file, and an entry is created in the slash etc shadow file. All right, and the uh, the purpose of the etc shadow file is to store the uh, uh, hash form of the user's password. 